this is just a quick video on how I upgraded my uh, Pelican Catch 110. Well, I guess for any any high drive uh, HD2 system, how I upgraded it. What I did was I uh, I replaced this part, the the sprocket. This is the one that goes right in here. The Pelican sprocket is hot, is a hollow tube. It's got this sleeve that goes inside to thicken it up, but all the pressure of the of the fins, I mean, think about all that pressure that you're push, putting on this, this little corner, and all it's got to hold it is this little tiny neck here. The difference between the Pelican and the uh, Hobie is the Hobie has the set screw going in through the neck, and the Pelican has it on the side, but it's the same thing. Make sure you buy the one that says set screw. But like I said, Pelican's is a, is a hollow tube. So this piece goes in here, and then that shaft goes goes through this. So I spent uh, $20.99 plus $10 ship for each of these. I bought them separate. I don't know if they'll combine shipping if you buy both of them at the same time. But for $62 in peace of mind, hey, it was worth every penny. I tell you what, I'll sell you this piece for $62 and I'll even pay the shipping. This one, I replaced one and I still didn't feel secure while I had this one on, so I never pushed it. But now that I've got both of these, I'll pedal the daylights out of this thing. So, the difference is uh, Pelican set screw is on the side, Hobie's set screw is on the neck where this silly little look look how thin that is anyway hey thanks for watching i hope this helps and gives you a little confidence uh, if you contact uh, pelican good luck getting to contact you back unless you use email i think or the if you're a uh, youtube influencer because i've contacted them twice for two separate occasions for two different things and I never got a response from them. The Pelican High Drive HD2 system upgraded with the Hobie. This Hobie set screw, this piece right here. That's the part you need. There, you're gonna, it's gonna cost you $62, but it's worth the $62 not to deal, uh, deal with the worry that your sprocket's gonna break on you. You're gonna have to make one modification to the. Uh, the Hobie sprockets what I did was I took a paddle bit a little 5 16 or you can just use a 5 16 drill bit I guess it doesn't really matter if you go all the way through because the set screw you're going to tighten the set screw down until it grabs that little notch that's on the shaft and once it grabs it then you can tighten it all the way down and you don't have to worry about it sliding in or sliding out and I filed down the tip of it because I didn't want to go beyond where it's where it ends and I just I reamed it out. It fit in there just a little wobbly, but as soon as I put the set screw, that thing was solid as a rock. So that's the only modification you're gonna have to do to this to make it work. Because everything else works fine. Here's another little piece of advice. I just did this because I've taken this thing apart probably eight or ten times. So I replaced all of the the nylon locking nuts. I replaced all six of them on both, three on this side, three on the other side. Uh, that's just something I did because I know after a while these things will start to wear out if you keep uh, tightening them and loosening them, loosening them. I might have to, yeah, these things feel a little loose. I need to tighten them just a little bit more, but I just finished putting this back together. Uh, the sleeves that go on here, they have little fins inside that I cut off. Uh, because the Hobie is a solid piece the Pelican is just a narrow shaft so they put the little fins in the side to hold them in place but uh, they do fit on the Hobie if you cut the little fins out of the inside thanks for watching like subscribe and send me a dollar for 62 of them <laughs>